Hi everyone, welcome to Best Best Hair. I am so happy that you can join me today. I am reviewing a brand new style from Paula Young. It is Collins. And She's a cute little wavy bob. Her color is 22613S8. And the name for the color code is Spun Gold. So just as a reference, on my head, I am wearing Long and Laird from the Synergy Collection. This is in Sandy Blonde Melt. If you didn't have a chance yet, go ahead and watch my haul try on video with seven wigs and I did every color in the Synergy Collection. I will be doing a full review on this style and color comparison of all of the colors side by side. But let's get to Collins. So she is just this cute little wavy bob. All right, here she is. Look at those little bouncy curls. Here's the inside of her cap with this pretty lace front. So you have like that much of that hand tied space. This is going to be permatees up here and that lace top. And her construction here is the soft covered ear tabs, bendy metal stay. She does have a nice stretch to her cap, extended nape, Velcro closures. There are no stays in that felt nape. All right, let's go ahead and put her on. All right, so Collins. Now I cut off her tags because I'm planning to keep her. So I just wanna let you guys know, don't do anything to your wigs, don't mess with the part, try them on with a hygiene cap. Um, and decide if you're going to keep them before you do anything because once you touch them you cannot return them. All right so let's get going. I want to compare her with a catalog picture so let's take a look. So I will do a 360 so we can see her from all sides and I will include her measurements in this slide. All right, so let's just do a quick talk about this color. It is Spun Gold 22613S8. That means that it has a number eight root. Now the 613 was, um, that code is in the Golden Lights color at Paula Young. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that it is a mixture of that. And I believe that 22 is in that blonde honey blonde color. So she's going to take a little bit of work because I want to get these curls kind of back. So she had some box hair or at the factory maybe these side curls didn't take. Now she is a whisper light so she is super soft and she is lightweight. She does have permatease so all in that top where you saw the lace I can feel permatease here, but she's not a heavy wig. I think that her cap fits true average. It's not large on me. Um, it might actually be a little bit snug, but I have not adjusted the adjusters in any way. I am 22 and a half inches around. So I would say that it fits true average. Super cute. No weft showing. I'm going to start with this side. I'm going to spritz it with some water. And then just kind of comb that up a little bit. So I have my little blow dryer tool. So I'm using this tool on medium heat. I have spritzed the hair fibers with water. And I just want to lift that up and off my face just to give it a prettier profile. 
I want it to look a little bit more like it did in the catalog photo. Now remember that you need to let these cool in order for what you just did to set. So I spritz this section with water as well. And then I'll just go slow with that blow dryer tool. Just kind of working on lifting those hair fibers up again, just trying to get that profile look that I'm after. And then I will let this cool after I'm done using that tool. Remember, I only have that on medium. This is not a heat safe wig. Okay, so I just moved the part a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm liking it. Now I'm liking it. So it kind of has the retro vibe to me. It's kind of giving me sort of the Marilyn Monroe retro vibe. So yeah, I'm liking this a little bit better now. So sometimes you just have to play a little bit more than others. These fibers are beyond soft. This wig feels beautiful. And I do think the curls are bouncy and cute. Um, and I'm liking it better that I kind of was able to flip it over and get that look that I was wanting. So, and I think I could just use a little bit of my Polly Young hairspray and get that to stay over. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely giving me the vintage blonde bombshell vibes. Like you just need your black dress, your little black dress, or your red dress. Gentlemen prefer blondes. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. What are some blonde bombshell poses? Strike a pose. <laughs> Cute. So now that I'm liking the way she looks, I'm going to mess her up again so I can show you guys a few styles with her. I'll try this cute little flower headband. Pull out some curly tendrils at the front. Aww. That's so cute. All right, let's take half of it up. I'll secure that with a claw clip. Try to grab a weft when you do that. Fluff it up. Let's add to this with a little scrunchie and make a ponytail. I'll twist up that extra tendrils at the side. Use a clip. This will be a fun style for work. Just kind of that messy updo look. I always think that's fun. All right, let's pull some of it over to the side and twist up. Add a little claw clip. Now I'll twist around at the back. Kind of that side swept do, secure with a claw clip. And add a little flower clip. That's really cute too. I like it. Little updo options for summer. All right, we'll pull half of it up here at the top. Twist and secure with a claw clip. Now I'll twist each side section and secure with a smaller clip. Fluff that up a little bit. Oh, that's cute. It's nice with the lace front that you can pull it back. So now if you wanted to wear it down, this is an easy ear tuck. Kind of fluff up the sides a little bit. Spin the curls if you need to. I'm gonna add a little barrette. That is just easy and cute. So, the more that I play with her, you guys, the bigger that I can get her. She has...
quite a bit of permatease in here. And these fibers are just, they're so soft that, that you can just really get them to lift up. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you can get it pretty big if that's what you like. Um, so, but she doesn't, I feel like you can't see the permatease. And maybe it's because, you know, you have this lace front here, so that gives you a little bit of a part line. And then you have the, the rooting, of course. But if you didn't want to have it so full, you can see that you can kind of bring it right back down again. You know, just kind of twist it a little bit and bring it back down again. It, these fibers, though, are super soft. It feels like baby soft hair or maybe right after you've just been to the salon and gotten a fresh color, your hair always feels really soft. So um, she is cute. So I struggled a little bit, but I am really, really happy that I purchased her. I think she's gonna be really fun for summer. All right, so thank you all for joining me. And I am going to be doing a comparison of the Rooted Blonde Wavy Bobs. That will include Collins, Deirdre, Long Leading Lady, Modern Beachy, and Tessa. So I want you to look for that. I'm planning on doing that. That's gonna take me a little bit to put it together because I wanna be able to put my wig heads outside so that you guys can see the colors in the sun. And I will also, uh, I need to look up their measurements and get those for you so you can see the measurements. But they're all very similar, just some are a little bit shorter, some might have a little bit more layering, others may be more dense than some. So I want you to look for that. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.